Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I have been undergoing the mentorship program by Inner Circle Trader. Well, in this video, I'm going to go through my backtesting process as part of my constant learning journey with trading. And I'm going to show you some of the concepts that I've been using from ICT. So for this, I'm going to be using the backtesting software Forex Tester 5. It's a brilliant piece of software. It allows you to go back using historical data and test any currency pair, as well as commodities or even cryptocurrencies. So if you wanna have a look at my process for trading using ICT concepts, day trading using your USD, then keep watching this video. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel below and let's jump onto the charts. Hey guys, so here I am in Forex Tester 5. I have opened a new project for EURUSD and this is a brand new account that I've set up. So my balance here is 10,000. This replicates a demo trading account. So Forex Tester 5 is both a back testing software, allows you to go back in time on the charts and practice trading, but it's also a demo trading account. It allows you to practice trading using fake money. So it's really good to practice, to help build skills and experience. It's why I like to use it when I am learning and practicing a new strategy because it helps to just embed the trade plan and see what the results are as well. So for this trade plan that I am sharing with you today and practicing for myself, I'm starting off on the weekly time frame. I like to use the larger time frame because it sets the tone for the week coming. So I've actually come back in time here and we are just at the end of the week commencing the 5th of April, 2021. And as you can see, Price action has been making this nice uptrend. We've got a higher high and a lower high, high high, lower high, a new high here. Price has come back down into this previous region and we've got a large bullish weekly candle. So my bias for the week ahead is going to be bullish. And what I tend to do is using a trend line, I will also just highlight the weekly high and the weekly low of that previous week as well. Now again, these concepts that I am sharing with you are taken from the mentorship that I'm currently doing with ICT. It's a free mentorship, it's available on YouTube, so if you wanna have a go for yourself, check out the Inner Circle Traders YouTube channel. Lots of fantastic content, and I've seen such a dramatic improvement in my trading since I've started this program, so I'm really excited about it, and I am enjoying this learning journey with him. So once I've done that on the weekly time frame, I've got my bias for the week, I'm bullish, I've highlighted the weekly high and the weekly low from the previous week. And what I'm going to look for is some sort of dip down so that I can get a buy, but at a lower entry, so I get a nice position long for this. So I'm just going to move to the daily time frame now. And once again, the daily just shows some more information. We can see that we came to this level here and broke the short term daily lower highs here with some strong bullish up candles so it's just more confirmation for my bias to be long now maybe be quite interested in price coming back to this area here where we were building a little bit of support on the daily so i've just dropped to the four hourly time frame which is another nice high authority time frame but it's starting to get into the realms of day trading now and i've got these periods separated on so you can see that this daily has opened here and so far we've dropped into this previous area here of consolidation now I'm quite interested in this area here as well because this is a, a previous gap on the Farley candle. It's called a fair value gap and it's one of the concepts that ICT talks about where price between these three candles shoots up and the first and the third candle don't actually make any contact. So there's a gap here in the market and it's a gap where price is likely to want to return to to pick up liquidity and to find some movement. So I'll be seeing, uh, watching this to see if price dips down into this area if I get any kind of buy signal in this area, then I'll be interested in getting long. So I've just moved price on to the next day. And as you can see, it's kind of consolidated this first day. It hasn't come down to this level, but I have noticed that there is another gap. If I zoom in closer here, and let's find my rectangle tool. On this Farley time frame, from this first candle to this third candle wick here, we have another gap. Now price has actually come back down into this. It closed below it, but then it shot back up and we're consolidating around there at the moment. So this is quite an interesting area for an entry. So I'm going to drop down to the 15 minute time frame and just see if I can highlight a better place to plan my trade. Now the 15 minute time frame gives a lot more information. So this box here was that original fair value gap from the four hour period. 
But if I zoom in here on the 15 minute, we can see that we have a lot more information. In fact, we have a lot more gaps here. So I can actually adjust this to find a lower gap, which I can see right here. Her price shot up and the second candle continued to shoot up and then there's the third candle. And this is where price came back to and it actually made a sharp push down and a sharp push up and it's consolidated some more here. So that is a really nice place for an entry long as per my daily and weekly bias. So I'm going to use the risk reward tool and place a buy, risking 1% of my overall account. So I'm going to place a 20 pip stop, which is right below this level, and I'm going to target the highs up here, which is a 1.5 R profit target. So I'm risking 20 pips in order to make 30 pips. And something else I can use for confirmation, which is quite nice, is the Fibonacci tool. Now I've gone from the low of the previous pullback to the most recent high, and you can see the price has actually dipped down to this 0.78 level on the Fib, which is a nice area to pull back to for an entry long. So I've placed a pending buy limit order here at 1896, just slightly below current price, with my stop below the lows and my target at the highs. And you can see that here at the bottom underneath pending orders. So I'm just going to play price on to see if I get triggered into this. So I'm currently in this position long and it shot straight up. In fact, I probably could have aimed for more profit from that. I didn't expect it to go up so fast, uh, but it shows that it was definitely a nice place to get in. I mean, price did it down a little bit, but my stop was in the right place and then it continued on up to my target. So a nice win on that trade. And that's just a small example of some of the concepts I've been learning with ICT, utilizing top-down analysis, weekly, daily bias, using simple market structure and using fair value gaps in combination with the 0.79 level of the FIB to help to find a good entry for a trade. And I think for me, where it's really helping, where I've struggled in the past, is I have had a habit of getting into trades a little bit too early and had them go to my stop only to go in the right direction. Whereas utilizing the concepts from ICT have helped me to gain a bit more patience because I am waiting for something specific and if it happens, then I'm getting into that trade. And that's what's really beneficial for me and what I'm seeing some big changes for with my trading at the moment, which is super exciting. But as I said, if you want to find out some more information for yourself, check out their channel. If you want to continue to see how I develop on my journey, I have shared some trades I've taken in my live account with the five percenters. So do check that out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below. If you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.